Uh, we find that between 10 and 20 percent, depending on, on the country, depending on even regions within a country, would be sufficient to have a population with herd immunity. Uh, and in fact, we, we say that based on mathematical models. I have to confess that it, it was very surprising to me that our results were taken as controversial because I think it's very, I think it's very intuitive. So uh, our models differ from the more classical mathematical epidemiology models that most groups are developing in that they take into account individual variation in susceptibility or exposure to infection. So in our model, some individuals are, are more susceptible than others. It could be due to their innate immune system. It could be their, the, the, their, their general health status or, or, or genetics or, or whatever biological reason could make one individual more susceptible than another or exposure to other coronaviruses or, or, or things like that. Uh, that could make individuals differ in their susceptibility to this new coronavirus. Or it could be exposure. Some individuals uh, meet more uh, people mm. in their everyday life. Why than don't others. and if they meet more people, they are more exposed. Why don't and I take a bit? The, of... the way the, the logic goes is that if you have if you have a, an individual where individuals uh, are not equally susceptible or or equally exposed, the individuals that are going to be infected first and become immune first are those individuals who were more susceptible or more exposed to begin with. So, the remain, so, so there is a kind of selection, there's a kind of a natural selection process here. So once these individuals who were originally more susceptible or more exposed become immune, they are removed from the susceptible pool. So the susceptible pool is now composed of the individuals who were originally less susceptible or less exposed. Yeah. So the average susceptibility of the population that is available to the virus is a, is a population whose composition makes them less and less susceptible. So can so I come at this from a slightly different... You know, we see for, for Portugal, uh, uh, for example, we expect a herd immunity threshold about 10%. For England, we, we estimate a herd immunity threshold of 20%. Spain and Belgium are between the, those two. And, 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 and it's not just a herd immunity threshold. We expect still outbreaks uh, uh, throughout uh, uh, the, the rest of this year. Oh, so, so these aren't second waves. These are localised outbreaks that we're seeing perhaps in Belgium and Spain? I, yeah, I think they would be more like localized outbreaks. I don't think the the the, the there is enough uh, uh, susceptibility mm. anymore to to fuel a, a very large uh, growth like like like, like David, we have. 